Hey guys, welcome back to Merriman Family Auto. Today we have a 2013 Volkswagen CC with a problem with the intake manifold. I'm replacing the intake manifold because of the, uh, the swirl flaps we have right here. They're stuck, they're jamming, causing a check engine light. So I'm replacing it with our new part here. Uh, but one thing I noticed when I was replacing my uh, intake manifold is this is a direct injected car. These injectors go directly in the combustion chambers, not in the intake manifold. That's If it's in the intake manifold, it's called port injection. If it's in the cylinder head, this is called direct injection. And one of the common issues with direct injection motors is that the, the intake valves get very gummed up. And so there's this one right here is pretty bad. You can see the carbon buildup on the valve. So I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna rotate the engine over until the intake valves are in the upright position. This is where the fuel injector gets inserted into the head. And we're gonna clean out the fuel injector, or sorry, clean out the inject, um, intake valves. So I'm pulling out these little, these little dividers for it here. And you can see the carbon buildup on this, on this, and it's, just, it's sludgy, it's cakey, it's really thick. And so all this stuff has to be cleaned off uh, off these flaps and also off the intake valves. So the intake valve again. You can kind of see them in there. They look pretty nasty and corroded. So we're gonna try to clean that up. Where the number one cylinder valves are down, that means the other valves are in the upright position and I can fill them full of the solution to clean the valves and I'll scrape them off as I go along. While that stuff is soaking, I'm gonna take these plates over here to the wash bin and I'm gonna wash these up in our parts cleaner to make these nice and clean again. Direct injectors right now. These direct injectors come with a replacement kit. There's a Teflon seal you have to replace at the top and then two seals you have to replace at the bottom right here. Um, they're kind of a press fit when you push them in. These Teflon seals are, are kind of like sized and so you have to stretch them to put over the injector and then when you put them in, sometimes I use a zip tie to compress the seal and then put them in once the seal is shrunk. This is an example of the zip tie being used to compress that seal. Once that seal shrinks for a little bit, you let it sit in there for about five minutes. And then when you take the zip tie off, I cut it off and then I'll be able to insert the fuel injector into the head. So again, this is a direct injection, not port injection, but direct injection. All right, so we need to have now clean the valves. Uh, although it's not as much as I wanted it to, it'd be much better if I had a sandblaster to actually get in the valves down in there. That's much better than it was. I had a problem with number one valve sealing up. There was some carbon stuck on the valve, so I had to rotate the engine a couple times to get the valve down and clean it off and then bring it back up again, and now they're all sealing properly.